Living in history, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We got to 96 at Atlantic City International Airport. That's our hottest day of the year. Now, I'm still looking to see when the last time our hottest day of the year in September was, but I have to imagine it was not very often, if ever. Otherwise, we were well into the 80s at the shore, even a few 90s, 92 at Seaside Heights, as we had a land breeze throughout the day. And as you know, as you went outside, it wasn't just the heat, it's the humidity as well. Take a look at our temperatures and our heat index as we went through the afternoon. We were already 103 over in Eldora at 130. We go a little deeper into the afternoon hours. You still see a lot of these 100s. At 3 o'clock, we got up to 104 in Hamilton, even Jackson above 100 as well. And even at this part in the later reaches of the afternoon, still 105 here, 97 at Atlantic City International Airport is the heat, it is the humidity, and it is an unusual September heat wave that was made more likely due to industrial era climate change here. According to Climate Central, we were anywhere from two times more likely to four times more likely in much of Cape May County here to have these kind of temperatures due to climate change. They are becoming more common. And again, especially in these areas that are in dark red in Southern Cape May County, four times more likely. This would have been hard, if not rare, to come by in the pre-industrial era. We take a look at why we're having this heat. It has something to do with this ridge of high pressure that is just over our area here. It's attached really to this parent high pressure area over in Texas and in Mexico. What's going to happen is this will actually diminish over our area into Thursday. Still going to be hot, but as we go into Friday and Saturday, we're just not going to be as hot as what we've seen already over the past couple of days as we have gone through Labor Day and on Tuesday, which was a record setter, and of course today as well. Here's a look at our future cast, taking a look over the next couple of days. Clear sky for tonight, Thursday, a mix of sun and clouds here. Showers and storms should stay to our north and west. Then as we go into Thursday night, it's a partly cloudy sky for us with some areas of fog. Friday, we're talking about a good amount of sunshine, especially during the morning, but here comes some showers and storms flaring up during the afternoon. If you're inland, if you're in Bridgeton or you're in Hamilton, a shower or storm does look likely here. I wouldn't cancel any of your outdoor plans just yet, but do know that inland could see an afternoon shower or storm. And then as we go overnight, we're looking for another rain shower to pass through. Let's take a look at our forecast conditions as we go into tonight. So at 7.30, well into the 80s in a number of spots, Tom's River, EHT, Hamilton, some of those spots here. As we go into the overnight hours, we will look for temperatures to get into the 70s here and morning lows on Thursday, only in the low to mid 70s again here across the area. We go into your Thursday, 93 in Hamilton with a mostly sunny sky, 90 in EHT and 85 in Atlantic City. More of a difference between the shore and the mainland on Thursday as our winds come from the south. And you even see EHT just only getting to 90 as opposed to 93 further inland. Today, EHT and Hamilton about the same. We go into Thursday evening, temperatures falling into the 70s here. And then Friday morning as we kick off a September after Labor Day weekend, Feeling just like July with temperatures in the mid 70s everywhere. We'll get up to 90, perhaps in a few spots well in and otherwise we're in the low to mid 80s, but that muggy air will still continue. So you take a look at the heat and the humidity. Here's a look at your excessive heat risk over the next couple of days. This is where we were inland today, getting to near 105 at times here and much of the afternoon above 100 degrees. We go into Thursday, we're just gonna touch 100 here as opposed to being into the hundreds for hours at a time and then Friday in the 90s with our heat index in the mid 90s but that's something we've seen many times even in early September. We go into our weekend and yes it's going to be an unsettled one here. We're exchanging the heat for rain here. Now the good news is I don't expect washouts here as we go into the weekend but a few hours will be wet on both Saturday during the day and Sunday during the day. So if you have outdoor plans I would have an indoor plan B, and if you're doing something that's maybe all afternoon or all day outdoors, I would reschedule it for another point in time. Here's a look at the tropics. We'll end with this before we get to the seven day here. This is Tropical Storm Lee. It is right now in the open Atlantic between the Lesser Antilles and the west coast of Africa. This is going to become a major hurricane, but it's going to stay well away from any land 
as we go into the next couple of days here, we take a look at our tropical tracker, expected to become a category two, then category three, and then category four storm as we go into the weekend. But this stays north of the Lesser Antilles here. And by Monday, it's spinning somewhere north of Puerto Rico or Hispaniola. We have to pay attention to what's going to happen here at the Jersey Shore as we go into next week. It looks like rough surf, rip currents are going to be a good bet from next Tuesday all the way to the following weekend. In terms of coastal flooding, that looks likely as well for the later part of next week into the weekend. The question is going to be how close does this stay to land? There has been a westward jog in the models here. Not that it's going to bring a direct impact here to the Jersey Shore, but is it possible that we see tropical storm force conditions at the immediate coastline on Friday? That is what I'm concerned about, and we'll talk more about that in the days ahead. Let's get you over to our inland seven-day forecast as we wrap this up. We are talking about temperatures in the 90s for Thursday for one more day. Spotty showers and storms from Friday all the way to Monday. I don't expect any day to be a washout, but notice the decrease in temperatures here over time from Friday until Monday. Tuesdays are brief dry reprieve before we get some more rain on Wednesday. That's not going to be from Lee. That's just from another system to come around. At the shore, we have the Down Beach Seafood Festival Saturday and Sunday. Looking a little dicey here, to be honest with you. Not a washout again, but some hours will be wet. 90% of your day will be dry as you go into Monday.